This has been recorded at 3.6 speed. Here I'm going to be painting up this orc knob. This whole thing was sprayed black and then dry brushed in white. I'm starting with the gut rip of flesh to get all the skin there. And that's a contrast paint, so all the places that are darker from the black spray are going to end up covered up in a darker green, and then it's going to be lighter green on the whiter spots. Just doing it quick and dirty here, and then this is going to eventually end up getting covered up with green ink on some places to add more depth to it. This is at 3.6 times speed, so it's a lot quicker than... Um, that's just to fit it into this 10 minutes. Um, but it took me less than an hour to get this whole thing done. Now, I use airbrush lead belcher because it's a lot thinner. Um, and I found that it kind of acts a bit like a contrast for metal. So I'm going over all the different places that I want to be silver here. And as I'm going over the miniature, I'm looking over and seeing what colors I think I'm going to need in the future. I've got all of the different colors that I think I'm going to need right behind me, but there's going to end up being, a, there's going to be a couple more that I'm going to need. Right now I'm making sure to get it into all the creases so there isn't any uh, white left over. If there's any black left over, I don't mind that so much, but I'm just trying to make sure to cover up any of the white with this. On these banners, I make sure the back is plain metal, like they only painted the front of the their big uh, signs. Just about done here. And I have to keep paying attention to where I am in the frame. There we go. those spikes on there. It looks good. All right, now I'm pulling out. This is Black Templar contrast, and I'm going over any of the pieces that are going to be like black leather. I don't think I have anything on this model that is black that isn't specifically supposed to be leather. So this one's going to be a pretty quick coat. Getting the vest here. And then after that, I'm going to get the boots going over it nice and quick. I am heading out of frame again. There we go. The nice thing about using this um, dry brush white, which a lot of people call slap chop, is that it allows you to build in some great natural highlights and kind of disguises that you're using contrast a bit. Now this is my red... Uh, let's see, that's Blood Angel's red contrast. All of my orcs always have for their metal jaws, I use red for that. And then also I make their signs red as well. And usually if they got a little loincloth going on, like this guy does, that's going to be red as well. Make sure you get the edges. And I realize, oh, I gotta get this little belt fist symbol here, and then I'm gonna get the loincloth here as well. And then squeeze in and get a little bit on the back as well. Little touch ups. And now I'm using my favorite color in the entire Citadel line that's uh, Steel Legion Drab. I use this sometimes as an undercoat for everything um, on some models, um, and it's just a really nice plain brown. I've probably been through about I don't know, like 10 bottles of this in the last year. And here you can see I'm not necessarily getting into all the creases because they're black, so they add some pretty natural shadows there. I had been considering brown for the pants, but uh, I ended up making an executive decision as I was painting this brown on that I was going to be doing a different color, which you'll see in a second. Any places I missed are going to be fixed pretty easily with some ink. So I decided to pull out 
my uh, frost heart blue contrast, and I'm going to get the jeans done with that. I decided I was going to go ahead and give him jeans here, uh, but it looked a little bit too contrasty, so I'm not a big fan of that, so we're going to be fixing that later. And now I'm taking my uh, Corellia green shade, and I'm getting just in the creases on the green skin, and that's to make it so that it removes the contrast look to it, and it just gives it a little bit more detail in there. I'm not getting the entire green, just the creases. Now I'm getting my Nolan oil over all the metal parts. Um, I also generally use this on the red as well. You're going to see there I'm using it on the jaw, and that's because the black fits really well with the the red when you're doing shading. You don't necessarily need Caraburn Crimson, um, but I do use that on occasion. Now, Null Noil takes a long time to dry, and so usually I end up forgetting to wait for it to dry. Um, right now I'm hitting it with my Seraphim Sapia on all the brown spots. Seraphim Sapia is my preferred brown over the Agrax Earthshade. I just like the, the color of it better. All right, so now I'm pulling out my blue ink, um, which I cannot recall the color name at the moment, Nightshade and uh, getting that over the blue to try to remove some of the contrasty nature of it. Then I'm going in with some Reaper Bone to get the two skulls painted in. And I fell out of frame again. I'm taking the silver and I'm hitting all the... Oh man, I'm completely out of frame. I'm hitting all the edges. There we go. Hitting all the edges with a little bit of silver to make it look like the paint is chipped off. I think it makes it look a lot better. All right, what am I pulling out now? Now we're back to the brown ink and we're gonna get that on all the bone parts. The skull's there. All right, now we're using Typhus Corrosion. Typhus Corrosion goes in all the creases that I want to look rusted out. And then also on some of the edges as well. So I'm gonna hit all that. It dries really, really fast, which I like. And uh, it just sort of muddies things up. It's a little bit of an ink with some grit in it, and that gives a good place for my rust to cling on to. All right, this is my rise of rust. We're going to really dry off the brush and then just start lightly brushing on over my typhus corrosion on all those spots. You can see it steadily ends up bringing out the orange and combining that with the brown together ends up making it look like a really nice rust. Some of the typhus corrosion wasn't entirely dry, so um, it ended up blending a little bit, but it doesn't look bad. It looks great. And I'm out of frame again. I'm taking some flesh, some human um, paler flesh tone, and I'm putting that around the eyes and the mouth. So add a little bit more depth to it. Now I'm adding some bright red to give some blood on the axe. Nice and quick. And now we're basing the rim with that same uh, Steel Legion drab. It's my preferred color for rims. And then I make sure to get a little bit onto the base so when there's some overlap with the mud I'm going to add right now. And I use a really nasty like hard brush that's been completely covered in this mud before and I get that this is Sterland mud and I get that all over the base. Alright and then I add on this little tuft and we're done. 